Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran. This is my place to talk about weight loss life, learning to be amazing, learning to accept life, move on and make myself the healthiest, happiest version of me. So welcome. If you're new here, you might not know that I actually have been working on my weight for a long time. At my highest, I was 330 pounds. I lost down to where I needed to be. And unfortunately, in recent years, I have actually gained half of that back. And I am working to get rid of that weight once and for all. So we're now two weeks into the year and I figured it was time to check in and see how I'm doing. So thus far, I have been amazing about getting my miles for the 2024 challenge. In case you don't know what I'm doing, I have committed to propelling myself 2,024 miles in the year 2024. That comes up to be about 5.68 give or take miles a day. And I am happy to say that I have been killing it. My butt was a little bit sore on the bike at the beginning of the year, but it is getting a little bit better. And all about one day, I have managed to get the bare minimum of mouse that I need. And that day that I was off was yesterday. I actually was only two tenths of a mouse short. I'm not overly concerned because I actually am usually about a mile or two over every day. So I've actually banked about 15 miles extra. Now, I would love to say that I was going to be done early. And in previous years, I was actually done in September. But I'm not counting on it. I'm just going to keep plugging forward because I know that there will be days that I won't be able to get my miles. Things happen. Life happens. One of these days is this upcoming Friday when I have my colonoscopy. The odds of me getting in my bike ride in the morning while I'm doing the colon prep? Yeah, probably not. And, you know, am I going to feel like it when I get back that afternoon, evening? Because we shouldn't get back home till about 5 or 6 in the evening. Probably not going to. So I'm trying to make sure I bank extra miles for days like that. So yes, I am getting ready to do my colonoscopy on Friday. I actually have my food, everything lined out. They want me to eat a low fiber diet, which goes against everything I was ever taught in Weight Watchers. But I have actually adjusted my diet to make sure that I don't have the seeds and the nuts and the corn and all the stuff that they told me not to eat this week. And I am ready. I'm ready to kick it in and get it taken care of. I'm actually not worried about the procedure itself. I'm just kind of dreading the prep. And not even the prep itself, just the drink that I have to drink. But I am determined to power through it, get it taken care of, and knock this off my list of things to do. Now, I actually had an endoscopy scheduled for this past Friday, and that is to go along with the acid reflux that I have and that I've had for a couple years, and my insurance denied it. The first denial said that they wanted me to be on a PPI, a protonics, for at least eight weeks and for me to show that it was not working. And apparently the doctor did not send that information over. So when they told me it was denied, I started laughing and I'm like, I've been on a protonic since the beginning of October and I haven't seen any difference in my symptoms. So they're like, oh, well with that, let's go ahead and put in for the appeal. So they did put in for the appeal and the appeal was denied. Also, my insurance said it's not medically necessary. So not really sure what's gonna happen with that. The doctor may wanna try again in a couple months when I go see him in March and we'll see what happens. It does make me angry because I am paying through the nose for my insurance. I have the best insurance that is offered at my work and oh well, it is what insurance is now. So back to my healthy habits and my quest to be healthy and lose my weight. I've actually been really on target. I've gotten my water. 5 a.m., here we are ready for a day. This is the Trace Minerals. It's a vitamin pack for energy, immunity, and hydration. I put that in my first 32, put that in my first 32 ounces. And then the other 32 ounces is straight up water and ice. I've actually been exercising a lot. So let's do this exercise thing. I've done some formal exercise videos. I also, when I'm outside with the dog, I really try to work to keep moving. And typical of a morning, I am outside. It's still went dark. I've already been outside once because, you know, Zoe doesn't go to the bathroom at the same time. She does the first thing at one time and then about a half hour, 45 minutes later, she does the other thing. 
So I'm outside a couple times early in the morning. She and I will come out about a half hour before I go to work and we'll play outside. So we'll be outside again, but you know, it's all good. I'm trying to use the play times as a chance to be ex to exercise. So I've been like marching in place, running, doing stuff like that, Sto toe steps, kicks, whatever. Anything I can to be active during that time instead of just standing while I throw her ball. Trying to use the most of my time. And of course, my bike that I'm doing every day. My food has actually been pretty good also. I start my morning relatively the same every day. So I'm out of the shower. It is time for breakfast. This week is Cheerios. I basically eat a box of Cheerios and then I flip flop it with something else. Um, right now I've been flip flopping it with Special K with strawberries. I will have my vitamins. One of these is mine. The other one is Jason's and I will feed the dog at the same time. She and I will eat together and then we'll be ready to get our day rolling. I even share my food. Is it possible to do anything without a bird? Kiwi gets a Cheerio for breakfast. Okay, granted, Kiwi doesn't take a whole lot of it, but when I share it with Zoe, she takes a whole lot because she's a big dog. My lunches are usually the same. I usually just have a sandwich and some grapes. And then dinner is just like a normal dinner. This is what has worked for me in the past and I, that's what I was just rolling with. However, I'm not losing. So I actually had to sit back and I had to start to reevaluate because what I've done in the past that actually was successful is not working for me. And that's okay because I was 35 when I first lost the weight. I was 40, I was 45 when I lost other times. I'm no longer those ages. My body has adjusted, my body has changed, life has changed. So that means I can't expect to do the same thing because sometimes that just doesn't work. So I am reevaluating. I'm taking in things that I've actually picked up over the previous years of little things that probably will make a difference. So what am I planning on doing different? So number one, I'm gonna keep my calories close to the 1200 calorie mark. I know that that is low, but I also know that that's where my body tends to lose weight. Now, in fairness, I don't weigh my food, so probably 1,200 is probably closer to the 14, being totally honest. So 1,200 is where I'm aiming for. The second thing is carbs. Man, I love my carbs. I'm gonna be honest with you. Bread is like, well, they do say bread of life. Bread is fabulous. I love my carbs. But I know from previous years and previous experiences that carbs typically are not a good thing for me. I like carbs, but my body does not seem to like them as well. So I wanna cut down my carbs to one serving a day and keep it at that and see what happens with my weight. Honestly, I'm not looking forward to these changes. I like my carbs. I really don't wanna eat the 1200 calories because that's really at a low level. But I want to see the change in my body, in my fitness levels, in my health. And to see the change means I have to change. It goes down to the saying, if I want to see change, I have to make the change. No excuses.